Hi, and welcome back to Sword Art Online Code Register. And today, we'll be talking about things I want to see in Sword Art Online Code Register. So, as a pretty long time player that have started from the beginning, um, I found the game pretty fun for the first, first year. It was interesting, um, the events were pretty cool, but as the second year, I felt like it got repetitive, even though they in tried to introduce new stuff like 6 star to 7 star, natural 7 stars, and you know, now 8 stars. And like, they've, you know, Gumi, Bandai have been trying to up their game with this um, sort of online code register. And I believe every day when I try to like log in, find something to do, I feel like it's kind of boring might be just me but I'm sure like other old players that have also been playing from the beginning also feels that feel this way um, so I've came came up with ideas of what I want to see in the game and maybe also have your guys' input and hopefully they might you know have these uh, ideas implement, implemented to the game. So the first thing I want to see for the longest time is team placement. So since SAO is like a MMORPG and it is an RPG, right? So I was assuming that they could um, have these uh, characters placed in a team specifically because you're not gonna have an archer or a gun user to be put in the front lines right that's just you know weird right because they're like ranged shooters so you might want them to put you might want to put them in the back so they provide support so um maybe somehow they can provide um really cool synergies I haven't thought of thought of anything like that yet but you know team placement is important because it's an MMORPG game it's an RPG game and it's like a team game because it's more of a tactical game instead of like memory defrag where you, you just you know go and kill everything because your numbers are bigger than you enemies so I don't know about that so yeah team placement something I want to see for the longest um, the second thing is more opportunities to get Reggie stones and I felt like this is quite important and it's just not me being greedy for more Reggie stones and me not saving up much but um, Right now, uh, to collect ready stones is only pretty much login days, right? Unless you have uh, um, you're a new player and you see lots of events that you can collect ready stones, but you can only collect one ready stone for one completion of an event, which I find eh, like why one? Why not two? Why not three? Because, you know, for the current uh, character event, it's um, Yudin, I believe. And she has three stages. Um, the 30 a 35 AP one, which is like the easiest one. The first 45 AP, where you get one Registone. And the harder 45 AP, which is also one Registone for each completion. So. I think they should, you know, have two ready stones for um, the harder stage because it is quite difficult. Even I have challenges to do um, beating that stage. And yeah, and like how they did the um, event with the rerun of the sort of online TV series, only season one, meaning that you can get 24, 25, I believe, 24, 25 gems. Um, each week 
and I believe that is um, not a good motivation to get gems because you know um, the only way to uh, do gotchas is to either save up from like for months or you just pay and I'm not gonna hide the fact that um, I don't uh, pay because I do in some cases and um, I s sometimes get good characters um, through paying and I believe that new players shouldn't be become uh, play to win type of um, players so they should find a way to get more registones besides doing weekly um, events like the right now the ordinal scale thing where there's a time period and every week you get one gem or do the login days and you also get one gem I feel like that's a hassle if like if there's a gacha that they, ha that they have announced and you have that one character you want like Shinon, Asuna, Leaf, uh, Silica, Liz, Kirito, Kitiko, things like that and you realize that you you're not ready for it and you're like well shit what should I do I don't want to pay either I can't do, I can't pay because I'm underaged or I'm really um, like tight with money right now so I can't pay so that's a situation for a lot of us older players and also new players and I've seen my friends like save up for like months and not get what they want and I feel that Bandai or Gumi should up their game with ready stones the second thing is um, you know have a special time for like limit break materials to have like double the percentage like sure they've introduced this um, new limit break item where you can further increase the stats for your characters for, and the maximum is three times so you yeah three times and um, the best that our guild and for myself can get is the six star materials um, now and then we can get the seven star but then it's pretty tough to get but like uh, the BOB um, sometimes they would have the um, new eight star little rig item where you can only get them in a certain rank so you have to go against everyone to um, get that um, secured ranking to get the um, new 8 star limit break item uh, and I find that uh, not everyone like us can achieve like 100 rank 100 or higher because I know for a fact that you need to spend ready stones to gain that and I just find that um, kind of not fair for like the other players that want to play casually like me and they should you know double the rate for like I don't know uh, they should just double the rate at some point or like when there's like something special like the New Year's Christmas or anything like that they should just be like oh here we just doubled the um, chance you, you can um, limit your characters it's just it's similar to how they do the um, double the chance of the training where you can get um, great success for um, leveling up your characters through bunnies or the uh, hammers or like more success chance of you leveling up your weapon they it should be somehow similar to that where it's like an occasional thing not you know uh, not constantly basically uh, the next thing is like new battle abilities uh, I think they should just introduce like a new battle ability like I know that they've tried doing that with the seven stars where the first uh, ALO Kirito had this um, self crit sword skill attack where it crits 100% of 
100% no fail and um, I believe that's a new obviously that's a new BA right but I think they should um, you know add more besides you know rehashing the same old BAs every time but what just place that into the new character um, I think uh, example they should do is um, clear rain so if you don't know what clear rain is or kuriya rain um, those are the enemies type of um, battle ability where they clear your buffs you know the annoying buff that you um, we all hate where you have just buffed up your characters but they just be like oh Here's the boss for you. You have to recast your stuff again, and it's like finding very, you know, frustrating that you've just buffed your characters for the first turn and you can't deal any good damage. Um, I'm sure we all have that same feeling, and I think it should be fair that we should um, do the same to the enemies. Um, I know that um, the one of the six star um, break orbs has that, but to be honest, I think the break orbs was kind of cool when they were being used as three stars or four stars because they're doable. But you have to actually break out of the chain to actually use it again. So I don't find break orbs that useful. Um, I just have it just in case. Uh, they should just uh, implement clear rain into a character, and maybe they would just uh, increase the chances of people doing gotchas on that. Um, the next thing is, uh, yes, this is like a kind of like an interface problem. I feel like, but in some games. Uh, example fake rent order when you try to level up a character and uh, with the XP cards uh, if you used enough of it or like if you um, keep on tapping until the game says oh you've reached reached the max level you need to stop they should do um sort online code register need to do that because um, sometimes uh, I do the bunny event and I realized that I've kind of overkilled the level um, leveling up and I just wasted like bunnies to level up my other characters and I believe they should just do that in general because it's such a basic idea but they just haven't um, implemented that into the game and I I'm, every time I just overkill the leveling up and um, I just waste time and effort on just getting the buddy drops, so they should do that. It's just a basic uh, interface problem, but um, I just find that um, annoying. Um, next thing on the list is you know more potential co um, collaborations with uh, Dengeki Bunko novels. So back then, uh, before like one one year anniversary they have done the uh, Dengeki Bunko um, autumn festival thing where sort of online code register um, had a collaboration with uh, Mahoka Koka Retose and uh, the Toaru Majutsu no Index series and uh, those three games also had collabs with each other, so that was a pretty cool idea. And recently, um, they've also done a, an Axel World collab. And I think they should just do more collabs in general because I believe that, you know, we watch more than one anime. So we know that there are some animes that are also from Denki Kibunko, for example, the. Um, Heavy Object and uh, Netoge, and, or any light novels that are published by Denki Denki Bunko, or any characters from the console game Denki Bunko Fighting Climax and Fighting Climax Ignition. Any of those characters will be fine. 
for like a collaboration because there are Denkeki Bunko um, light novel characters. They should just do that. And sometimes there are the um, rare occasion where you have a collab with um, Thought Hack sign for some reason. I don't know why they thought of that, but that's another good good collab, I guess. Uh, another one is accessory events. Um, if I remember correctly, there's there only has been one accessory event throughout the game, and that accessory event was pretty good in my opinion. Um, even though I was getting four stars, like four star accessories and stuff like that, um, I think I was able to get a really good four star accessory, which was plus two hundred um, strength to my character, which I find amazing. And um, if you just do more um, accessory events. Uh, in general, because I believe the accessories um, is pretty useful sometimes. Um, because you don't want to farm the uh, Hell Dungeon events where the uh, four to five star accessory, where it's one plus one hundred stat to all stats, and they have a special effect to it, either um, resistant to poison, uh, silence, or um, paralysis and you know doing that is pretty much a pain in the ass right you might not get the drop um, even though it's like zero AP you might not get a drop and you just waste a lot of um, potions and pots and stuff like that uh, they should just you know try to like have accessory events now and then and um, uh, have like better accessories or introduce new accessories to it something like that um, uh, this is another um, limit break, limit break uh, issue where they should just have more limit break events or limit break material events um, besides uh, guild of, from the guild event rewards or BOB rewards um, like now we're in a day and age where limb break limb breaking characters are getting more common and they're um, making characters more powerful and to beat a beat a hard stage or beat a really strong team in BOB you kind of need like good um, characters in general not just um, Awakening them to seven star to eight star, but also getting giving them good weapons, armor, accessories, and also limit break. Because limit break is adding a ten, adding ten additional percentage to the character, and that's a lot. And you get up to three times, so plus thirty. So you know that's a lot of percentage to the stats. And that could either make uh, make or break the game. And I believe uh, they should just um, again have have the limit break um, events like pop out occasionally, not too much, but not too little. And but at least first introduce the game, um, introduce the event first. So we just hope for the next. Uh, limit break mat to appear but here's the um, thing with this um, uh, what I want is from the limit break events is it should be five stars and six stars only seven star and eight star is not allowed to be a drop only five star and six stars because I believe that if we were able to drop seven stars and eight stars um, then the game will be broken I don't want that. So it should be 5 stars, 6 stars, and they should um, also, when they have the limit break item mat event, they should also have the special time for limit break mats to double the amount. So I believe that should be a fair enough option to um, limit breaker um, characters at that time. And um, another, the, the last thing is um, just have the logstone sh um, shop reset more often. Um, logstone shop has been 
around for a long time, and I believe it's it's a very good um, shop, and they should um, just reset it more often because they don't reset it until they kind of tell us that they're going to reset it. So the five Reggie stones in the shop. They won't be a reset until they tell you that they're going to reset it, or if you want another character in the shop but you just can't get it, um, they should also just reset it. They should, you know, have the shop reset monthly, and to get more gems, more characters, things like those are the important stuff. More gems, more characters. Um, and one more thing for the um, things I want to see is like a continue button. Like I've seen some of my friends and um, I myself believe that um, they should have a continue button. And I, uh, because every time, like not everyone has the greatest phones, right? Not everyone's gonna have the latest iPhone, the latest Android to, you know, run Sorna Online Code Register fluently and, like, smoothly that they, it doesn't crash down or not everyone has the money to go get the new next iPhone or Android phone, right? So I believe that having a continuing option if your phone crashes, the game crashes or something like that they should um, just allow the users to, you know, have a second chance at it. I know this could be an exploit in the game, but um, I believe that having an exploit is not breaking the game because we all know that farming for the hardest um, character event is pretty challenging and not getting a drop is also challenging and you have to waste 45 AP and that's a lot you can and for me for like a, a two rank 290 care um, player ranking um, with only 125 AP I only have three chances plus the um, guild um, refills I only have six chances and thus the characters might not drop in those six chances or my um, or let alone beating the um, stage in six chances so I believe that having that continuing button or that small exploit they should um, you know ease up the uh, game a bit and um, yeah uh, ease up the game a bit and let more character events um, have more uh, or have more players have more uh, chances of getting the character drop instead of wasting their time and stuff like that and yeah that's pretty much it um, that's pretty much all I have to um, say for things I want to see in sort of online card register um, uh, I want to see what you guys want to see in the uh, see in sort of online card register what type of um, new interface you want to see and um, or something that you just uh, something that you just want like something new new you want to see instead of the things I've listed uh, so yeah leave a comment down below what you want to see uh, I'll be sure to check them out maybe a reply and yeah thanks for watching